You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Mark Roper and this is your WMAR 2 News update. The first African-American elected sheriff of Baltimore City has died. Shelton Stewart died at his home in Owings Mills, surrounded by family last week. He was elected sheriff in 1986. According to a news release, Stewart was instrumental in the media campaign that said, quote, it's 11 o'clock, do you know where your children are? There's a viewing for Stewart at the Vaughn Green Funeral Home on Liberty Road in Randallstown next Thursday, starting at 4 o'clock. His funeral is the following day at 10 a.m. Shelton Stewart was 80 years old. Today, a former Ravens legend will be laid to rest. Family, friends, and teammates will say their final goodbyes to former defensive lineman Tony Siragusa. His funeral is happening today in his hometown of Kenilworth, New Jersey. Siragusa passed away in his sleep last week. He played on the Ravens' first Super Bowl team and was known for his infectious personality both on and off the field. He leaves behind a wife and three children. According to AAA, gas prices have gone down once again. The average price for a regular gallon of gas in Maryland is $4.82. That's four cents cheaper than the national average. Gas prices in Maryland are expected to go up this Friday by about seven cents when the state's gas tax increases. Despite that, AAA says nearly one million Marylanders will hit the road for the 4th of July. Meanwhile, 65,000 in our state are expected to fly for the holiday. More than 32,000 people say they will take a cruise, train, or a bus to their vacation destination. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Good afternoon, Maryland. Today we expect to hit a high just under that 90 degree mark. So yes, quite seasonal, not too sticky out there either. So it's going to be a great day to do something outside. However, make sure you keep checking radar because we have the potential for a stray shower or two, mainly to the south of the Baltimore Metro. Heading into your Thursday, highs climb into the lower 90s, so 91 degrees for tomorrow. And then we really start to heat things up into your Friday as we wrap up the work week, a high of 95, feeling more like the mid to upper 90s out there as we uh, again head into the upcoming weekend. Lower 90s as we kick off your Saturday afternoon. We have the potential of a few rain showers, perhaps even a few rumbles of thunder to talk about throughout the day, uh, but 86 degrees. That's going to be our high temperature for your Sunday. A slight chance of a few showers as well. And the 4th of July looking mainly dry with a mix of sun and clouds. Mark. Stay with WMAR2news.com for updates throughout the day. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Roper.